everybody so I will explain this function like what is the output of this and this function which you already should have known or some people should know that this is using a recursion because when we call foo3 foo the function will return based on by the, what is the value of x and if the value of x is 0 it will turn 1 otherwise it will turn again 2 multiplied by foo value of x minus 1 so it is calling the function is calling itself so once the function is called itself this is called recursion and uh, this is the, one of the basic uh, recursion so from here I, I will uh, just close this down and I will go to uh, Python so I have written and I have also written some some comments over here so x uh, this x is equal to 5 is just when a function takes an argument and has like this style like x is equal to 5 has already assigned a value it this means that this is the default value of x if when I call x foo 3 so I am giving an ar value for argument if I don't give the value for argument then x will take 5 because I am giving the value 3 here so x will not take the value 5 but will take 3 value so then it will go the same if x is 0 otherwise it will go x minus 1 so it, because the value of x is 3 and it is going from 3 to 0 each time it minus 1 so it is the function will run uh, for like 3 times it will call itself 3 times uh, 4 times actually so uh, this because it is like repeating itself so it this I uh, this uh, recursion is uh, almost like uh, or behaves like a loop or for loop so I will uh, have written here uh, so I've just made a table for it which uh, gives a more detailed version so each time because it's running four times so a number of partitions are four and uh, value of x for the first time when it is it will call value of x will be three and uh, each time it will get minus one but for the first time when it's called it's called two multiplied by foo x of minus one which is two multiplied by three minus one which is two multiplied by two but actually what is doing is that when it's called foo three it calls itself again it says call foo with x minus 1 so means call foo again with 2 like so it is calling from foo 3 to foo 3 or uh, 2 next time it will call uh, 2 minus 1 so it will call like foo 1 and next time it will call foo 0 once, once the foo 0 is there then it says that it will return 1 so here uh, it this this part last part will return 1 to here and when this will get 1 from here like here it will uh, ask for 2 multiplied by whatever the value was returned from here so it was returned 1 so it will ask 2 multiplied by 1 so this is 2 and uh, now it is uh, it this will turn 2 this will turn 2 to this foo 2 and this will uh, have the value 2 multiplied by 2 it will have it will return the value 4 and now for uh, this foo 2 will return 4 to foo 3 which is going back to the last one and it will have foo 3 and this because this is returning uh, 4 so it will have 4 here so it will turn 4 and the last value it will return is 8 so it will the last value returned is 8 and that's what uh, we have you can uh, even like if I save this and run F5 you'll see I'll, I'll get 8 here so that's how we are getting 8 the easiest way to understand a, a for loop or iteration or the same way the recursion is create a table for it what the value is called the value called is like from 3 minus 1 so it will get 2 and then it will 1 and 2 0 so each time what and what the last value like when this the last condition so in the 
just like the for loop or any other loop has a break condition like when the for loop like how many times you want to run the for loop so and when you say for loop is going to be run like four times you say for i in range 4 so that's the same thing you you say like four times so i will say if there's no range here and there's no break statement but this is the this can be considered as like when the last statement is run for x is equal to 0 return 1 and return 1 is the last so this last block will return you 1 and it will return you 1 here and 1 is multiplied by 2 and similarly like each time it goes up and you have 2 multiplied by 1, 2 multiplied by 2 and 2 multiplied by 4 and eventually you will return the last value and this is this would be it so this was all hopefully you understand uh, understood this thing if you still have any questions please let me know thank you